Hey y'all, so I'm here. It's Jen. Um, I've got a an unbagging and um, product review today. This is a purse organizer. Um, I was I was sent this. I did not pay for this item. Um, the company actually sent this for uh, to me for me to review. I have not opened it yet, so I'm opening it with you, and um, you'll get my first impression and opinions of this organizer. I'm going to open this up real quick. Okay. So it came shipped in a plastic mailing envelope. Sorry for the noise and the shaky camera. I'm on my, I'm on my phone. Okay, so it comes in the mailer, and then it's also in its own um, plastic envelope. Okay, this organizer is, it's a purse organizer, and it's called the Clover Sack Organizer. Um, you can get these at cloversack.com. And their website specifies that it has um, no color transfer, it's lightweight structured, but has a flex flexible design, and the prices range from $22 to about $29, depending on which size you get. It's available in four sizes, and I'll put the description of those sizes in the box below, so check that out down there. Alright, so let's get into it. This is the, I, I think this is maybe their... Emma 28 maybe is the name of this one. Um, I think it's either the medium or the large size. I can't remember which one they sent. Um, so it, it comes flat. And then as you can see, you open it up. And it has these um, plastic, these are thick plastic inserts. And so these pieces will go... And if you want the bag to be structured and stiff, then you would slide this into the bottom section. Of course, I can't do this one-handed while I'm holding the phone. Bear with me, y'all. Sorry. I almost set up my camera for this because I thought it might be a challenge, but I was trying to be quick. Okay, so you slide that piece in to the bottom slot, like so. And then it also has two pieces for the sides, and these go, there's a snap. This thing is very well made. Um, and, and the thought process behind this was great. So you slide that one in. Let's see. You slide that in sideways. So let me go back and show you. Um, I started to put it in this way, but clearly that's not as wide. So you slide it in this way. And that helps keep the sides stiff. And then you have space to snap it shut. Okay, all right, so on the inside, you have three pockets on this wall, three separate pockets over here, and you have mesh pockets on this side. So you have a small one here, a larger one here, and then a full-size one in the back. And on the outside, you have a long pocket here and two pockets here. So you have lots of pockets even just with this. Then you also have the option to add in this divider. And this piece comes with it also. This you can snap in. It has two snaps on each side. And there are snaps right on the inside in the center. So I'm going to put this in real quick. So. 
So sorry for having to put it down. Okay, I think there is an upside down and a right side up. Okay, so I have that snap in. Um, and as you can see, then that gives you another section here for items, a section here for items, and then four smaller sections in the center. Okay, so my first impression is it's super nice. The material feels, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, it feels durable. It feels like it'll hold up pretty well. And I love the flexibility, um, the option to make it stiff or to keep it thinner if you wanted to. And then the, the options for adding this in the center. So let's see how it fits in a few bags. Um, I have a few here just to try. This one is the Fossil Sydney Satchel. Now I'm not sure. I think this will fit. Um, let's see. So this is the Fossil Sydney Satchel. Um, it may be just a little snug because I wasn't sure what size. Nope, it, I think it's going to fit fine. Okay, so it's a little snug in here, but it does fit and it would work. Um, so there it is inside the Fossil Sydney Satchel. Again, here's the bag. I don't have it pushed down in there all the way, but as you can see, it fits down in there. You've got space for everything. And then you could also use, you know, your front and back sections um, as another pocket as well. So this is it in the Sydney Satchel, Fossil Sydney Satchel. And then I also have the Fossil Sydney Shopper, Fossil Sydney Shopper. Let me show you how it looks in it. Okay, this is the Fossil Sydney Shopper, which I carry all the time and it is well worn in. <laughs> um, this is actually the bag I would probably use with this the most. So you just drop it right in and it fits perfect right down in there. You can see and that will definitely definitely help with organizing my stuff down in here because it's just you know the the Sydney shopper is just one big dump station so I really feel like I need to have some organization in there so there's plenty of space there's even a little bit of room here on the side if you wanted to add something else like a you know space for a water bottle or something um, but it fits perfect down in there so this is with the fossil Sydney shopper okay and the next one I'm going to try it in is a Michael Kors tote. I'm not sure the name of this tote. This is from last season. Um, in this blue color. It's Michael Kors. Two zippers on the front and two pockets on the back with the green lining. Cute, fun little bag. Um, and I thought this would fit down in it. Now this actually has some gum wrappers, but some pockets in it. So it does have a little bit of organization. Um, but I think this will fit down in it as well. Again, I recommend doing this with two hands, not one. <laughs> See, that's fine. Okay, now in this one it's a little bit snug again, so you don't have extra room on the sides, but you do have the organization throughout. So it still fits, it fits actually pretty much perfect in that one. And there is the front view of it. 
Okay. Um, and then I'm going to show you real quick what we can put in it. Hey. Hey. Okay. Um, a few things to put in it. I have my, I'm going to show you what all I'm going to put in it. I have my wallet. I have a some package. I have some pins. Um, I have a small pouch and a pill case and a notebook. So we're going to put those things in it for now. So I would put my wallet down in one side. And it fits. This is the Fossil Emery full-size wallet. Um, fits perfectly down in there. These, I just noticed, these pockets back here are actually at an angle. So, like, these smaller ones would be great for your lipsticks and the taller ones maybe for um, your phone or something that's taller. So, this way you can reach in and grab stuff easier. So, I do have some... smaller lipsticks here so I'll show you the difference here if I take this Revlon lipstick and stick it down in that pocket then you can see the top you can reach in and grab it if you put it down in this one it's gonna be hidden a little bit better so I think I would use that one for those and then maybe something like my perfume in the big one or some pins um, I can put my notebook over there, and put my pill case there, and this little pouch would actually fit in there. So, as you can see, you have lots of options with how you want to put things. Um, if I had my planner over here with me, I probably would put my planner in here. So... All in all, I think it's an awesome little organizer and um, much cheaper cost-wise than um, some of the more expensive fancy organizers. Um, and serves a purpose and this would work great in your um, any of your bags, your Louis Vuittons or Fossil or um, Coach, any of those bags. And like I said, it comes in four different sizes. I'll add that in the description below. Um, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later. Bye.